So in case you didn't know, Fast and the Furious 9 is coming up pretty soon already out in international markets. And it's doing pretty well given the circumstances that it's releasing in. I think it's at 160 million worldwide right now. And it's not even out here in North America yet. Comes out, I think, within this week or the week after. It's pretty soon, though. I don't know if they're going to have this digitally or if it's only in theaters. I'm not sure. I'm not going to watch it because I could really care less about Fast and the Furious anymore. But listen, if you like these movies, cool. I don't have a problem with them. That's great. They're just they're just not for me anymore. I don't know how we even got the 10 movies for this franchise cuz you got to remember that that movie with The Rock and I think Jason Statement was in it too. So uh, you have to count that one. So it's really 10 movies. 10. 10 Fast and the Furious movies. Anyway, John Cena is in the latest one. And during some interviews, this is crazy stuff. During some interviews that he did, uh, he dared to say that Taiwan is its own country. Which it is. Has its own government and you know, everything that a country usually has. But for some reason, China, uh, they claim that country. They say it's theirs. It's not a real country. There's always been some strange stuff going on with Taiwan. Like our presidents really don't acknowledge it. I think, I think Trump did. Anyway, I, I don't look too much into this stuff. All I know is I'm tired of Hollywood bending the knee to China. And that's exactly what happened here. So he made that announcement or he acknowledged that Taiwan is a country in an interview for Fast 9. He's doing a ton of interviews right now. And somebody asked him about Taiwan or something, or he acknowledged them. And this, of course, forced the studio to jump real quick because they need that Chinese. They need that China dollar. They need it real badly. So they said, John Cena, you get down on one knee and you apologize, sir. And that's exactly what he did. In fact, it's so... It's so bending the knee that he did it in Mandarin. I'm going to play you a clip of it and then I'll translate it. Check this out. Now, I have no idea what he said there. So I need to go over and get a translation, which thankfully Outkick.com did. So let me go through this with you guys. I'll tell you exactly what he said. And that's a whole minute, by the way. It's a minute and eight seconds of him bending the knee, basically. So check this out. Hi, China. I'm John Cena. I'm in the middle of Fast and the Furious 9 promotions. I'm doing a lot of interviews. I made the mistake in one of my interviews. I made a mistake in one of my interviews. Everyone was asking me if I could use Chinese. Movie staff gave me a lot of information. So there was a lot of interviews and information, said Cena, who started learning Mandarin to help his wrestling promotions integration in China. I made one mistake. I have to say something very, very, very important now. I love and respect China and Chinese people. I'm very, very sorry about my mistake. I apologize. I apologize. I'm very sorry. You must understand that I really love really respect China and the Chinese people. My apologies. See you. And I just want to add this man. Talk about cowering. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. And deservedly, he's getting destroyed on social media right now. Big time. People are all over him right now, making fun of him for the fact that he's bent the knee to China. Now I will say it's not entirely his fault. He was for sure forced by the studio to do this. I've talked about this before. You know, Hollywood bends over backwards to make China happy. They do. They do. But he could have also said no. So he he does deserve some blame in this. And especially the way he did it, doing it in Mandarin. It, it sounds like it came from China, doesn't it? The way he's like... The way that was phrased, it sounded like a, a CCP chess, uh, a uh, press release from the CCP. Uh, this is by far the funniest I've seen from uh, this gentleman right here who says, at least now I know which part of my body is stronger than John Cena's. His spine 
which is pretty funny. <laughs> Probably the funniest line so far that I've seen on here. Uh, a lot of people showing boot licking, which he for sure did. And just all out, just savagery. He's getting destroyed and wrecked. And I mean, that's just what happens. But this isn't going to stop anytime soon. Hollywood has been going out of their way to bend the knee for China. Disney especially. Uh, they got exposed thoroughly by the Hollywood Reporter the other day. I did a video on that on Saturday. Make sure to check that out. It's very, very interesting stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.